Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today we're down here at the lower end of the property and I've got a little experiment going on so I figured I'd take you along with me. So we've actually got a well down here that we'd like to be able to get water out of if we could but it's been a number of years since this well has been used. So I've kind of rigged me up some power to it. I don't know if this will work but I'm wanting to see if the pump will just kick on and pump a little bit of water. You know, the pump may not even be any good, but I think this is the first step in seeing if the pump actually works. So, you know, that's, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if this pump will kick on and hook it up to the generator and see, if, see what happens. I mean, the worst case scenario, I think it'll just blow a breaker or something on the, the generator. Uh, best case scenario, hopefully it kicks on and pumps some water out of it. But this well was said to be good, but it didn't have a lot of water. So it did, or didn't have a lot of, um, you could pump it dry, you know, in a little while. And the people that had this property before said for a multi-person family, you know, it just wouldn't keep up, you know, it didn't have enough water in it to do that, but it would always come back. So uh, if you had only say one person using the water, then it, it, they thought that it may be plenties to do that. But what we're thinking about possibly is having a storage tank and pumping some water into it and then, you know, gradually filling that tank. And then this pump then could, you know, the well would have time to recover and then you could pump more water into that holding tank and then so on until you get that tank full. I didn't put this wiring uh, or this plug into the receptacle thing in case I need to change wire around. But I've got a wire run 220 for this on a cord running to my generator. And if it pops a breaker, then I can reverse some wires and see if that makes a difference. But I'm gonna try it and we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully I don't mess anything up. Let's try it and see if this thing will pump water out of it. Well, I can't tell for sure what's going on. It did not kick the breaker and the generator pulled down. problem is I can't hear, you know, to tell what the pump's doing. So I'm going to let that sit there and run for a minute because it sounds like the generator's pulled down as if it's, you know, running power to the pump but this well is 380 some feet deep. So it might take it a little bit to push pressure and build water up if it's working, which, you know, uh, from the sounds of it, then it, it might be working because it's definitely running current or pulling draw down on the generator. So the main thing is, I wish I could just hear down in there because the generator makes so much noise, I can't hear what's going on to tell if the pump's running or if there's any water movement or anything. So, so I've been letting it run for a little bit and I'm not, there's nothing coming out still, but it continues to have that draw on the generator and it's not kicking any breakers or anything. But what I'm gonna do, uh, I've also read that if the power wires are backwards, that the pump will run. And some people even said that, you know, the pump will run in reverse. Uh, but I don't think that's the case. And some people said that, you know, like that'll run the pump in reverse, but this is running on AC current or, you know, two currents just going back and forth. So some of the so-called professionals, I guess, uh, Google professionals uh, said that it wouldn't run in reverse, but it wouldn't run strong. It wouldn't have a, a good, you know, pump pressure if those are backwards. So I'm going to reverse them because maybe it just doesn't have enough power to bring that all the way up out of there. So I'm going to reverse them, see what it does. And if that does something different or bad, then I'll just switch them back and just wait longer. So you can hear it pull down again. And it's running there. So we'll keep an eye on it and see if it does anything different. So 
So I don't think that's working. Uh, the I have changed the wires around a bunch of different ways. And whenever I change a couple of the wires, like you can tell there's no load on it whatsoever. So then I put them back and you can hear the load come back on it. But I pretty much hooked them up to where I could hear the load draw down on the generator the most and then let it run like that for a few minutes. But I've also, I stuck my finger like down in the end of the pipe and there's no air or nothing coming out. So if it was trying to pump water and it was taking time to come out of there, I should be able to feel air movement and, you know, trying to push that air out of that pipe. So I don't have any of that. So I don't know, maybe the draw is the, the motor is stuck and not turning, but it's getting power down to it. And it's just basically hitting and like just holding that draw and the motor's not able to turn down in there, maybe debris in it or something. So I guess the next step is, since I can't get that pump to pump water out, then I'm going to try to pull that pump out of there. So I'm gonna to have to rig up something to either hang up here in one of these trees or something to pull that thing out and pull it out with the tractor because that three quarter inch water line all the way down there on that pump 400 feet down is really, really heavy. So there's no way to just pull that out of there by hand. So I'm gonna to have to rig something up, pull it out by the tractor or and, and have to pull it straight up out of the top but then it's 400 feet long, so I'm going to have to be able to stretch it, you know, way out somewhere as I'm pulling it up out of there. So it's going to be a little tricky, but for now, that's going to wrap it up for today. I just thought I'd try this out, but stay tuned because I'm going to kind of, I'm going to try to document getting this well going again, and it, it may not be possible at all. It might have filled up with sediment or something, and that's why it won't pump water out of it. But I know that the previous owner said that the well was good. It just didn't uh, you couldn't pump large amounts of water out at one time, but it would always recover after you know a few hours or something. So thanks for checking out the video today. If you enjoyed it, I appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. Follow along with us for all the projects we have going on around the property. And until next time, keep it outdoors, and we'll see you on the next one.